Will it fit? We're going to talk today about getting clothing abroad. Kind of a random question, but it's a very important one, especially if you're setting up life over here and uh, doing things over in Asia. And this is actually a specific problem for me as an extremely tall guy. I'm 6'6 I'm six, six over here. I got a size 13 foot, right? I'm just, I'm just a big guy. So it's like, are you going to be able to find clothing and things that fit you? Great question. And we're going to ad address it today here on Go East Gentlemen, where we help gentlemen moving from west to east. And as always, Andrew Esquire, American attorney living in Seoul, South Korea. So jumping right into it, look, uh, I think us Americans, we are kind of spoiled for choice. Over in America, you can find whatever wherever, whatever you need. You need the XXXL shirt, you got it. You need the size 16 shoe, you got it. You need the giant belt, you got it, right? You need a very, very specific thing, a hypoallergenic, you know, left leg sock. I don't know, you know, whatever it is, you can get these very specific niche things. Here's the problem. When you're in other countries, number one, they may not have the same sizes. So let's be real. One of the big problems with America, and maybe one of the reasons why you're leaving, is because everyone is kind of big and fat. And hey, maybe you're kind of big and fat too. And hey, listen, I'm not, not here to judge you individually. I'm just saying that you have to be aware that if you're somebody who is very tall, let's say you're almost my sight, maybe you're, you're 6'3", right? And Maybe you weigh 300 pounds, whatever, right? There's probably not a lot of people in Japan that are going to meet your dimensions. It's going to be kind of hard to find things that fit you. So what do you need to do? Well, if you're a very specific size, so let's say you have a very large foot, you have a very specific, um, you know, suit size, maybe. You need to get those things before you leave and get enough of them that you can survive for a good period of time. So just ask yourself, can I dry clean this? Could I repair this? Could I get this sewed? That's very, very important. If you can do that, you're good to go. And ask yourself when you're moving over to Asia, what do I have to buy and what do I need to bring with me, right? What can I buy? That's actually, sorry. What can I buy there versus what can I bring with me? Let me give a great example. If you have a really big foot, you may need to bring socks and shoes. That may be something you just have to bring. However, when you really think about it, if you are pretty much a regular large t-shirt side, large or medium or whatever, you probably don't need to bring white t-shirts. Your pack of Hanes white t-shirts, yeah, you can leave that behind. You're going to be able to get a pack of generic white t-shirts when you get there to your destination. If it's just a plain Jane thing. Same thing, frankly, even for a lot of dress clothing. This is something I wear as lawyers. I have a lot of dress clothing. Now, some of this is custom. I mean, this is a custom-made shirt, so I have a sentimental attachment to it. I bring it with me. But if I just wanted a plain Jane white button-up shirt, right, in Oxford or something like that, I can get that made here, custom made for me. So do I need to haul all of my clothes around the world? No, I can just get something there. And oftentimes it's often cheaper to just buy it there than to drag everything with you um, all across the world. It's easier. Now, if it's very specific, if the thing you want is very specific, you're going to have another problem abroad. And that is do you know how to order that and what it's called and what it's referred to as? Maybe there's a different phrase for what you need abroad. Maybe it's called something different. You need to be very sure you're able to get that thing. So try to find the apps that are used there to find things abroad. So for example, in Korea, if you wanted to find whether something's available in Korea, you would check Coupang or G Market. Right? If you check those apps and you see, oh, this is available on G Market, it's available on Coupang, okay, you can get it. Right. By the way, even random stuff like Chick-fil-A sauce, you can get that on G Market and Coupon. You're going to pay a upcharge, right? But you can get it. You can get it shipped over here. It's not, it's not clothing, but you know, we all need our Chick-fil-A sauce. The point is, is that you probably can get it. You're just going to be able to pay that premium or have to pay that premium. Look at the premium. See, are you willing to pay that? When you need a new pair of shoes, are you willing to wait till you go somewhere with larger shoe sizes? Right? Or are you going to need those immediately, right away, today? 
If you're going to need that right away off rip today, you might want to strongly consider bringing with you as much as you need. So if you need specialty shoes, bring them with. If you need specialty, you know, shirts, bring them with you. But if you can buy generic, just go ahead and buy generic. And look, there are a lot of generic sizes. And in fact, there's a lot of very comfortable, stylish clothing over here for great prices. So you probably will be able to find most of what you want unless you are a very specific size. And if you are a specific gentleman, leave a comment below, like, subscribe, notifications, or send me an email or message on goeastgentleman.com. Take care. Peace.